Today we will review Immediate Environmental Concerns, or IECs, in New Jersey. IECs are the highest priority cases for the NJDEP. A case is classified as IEC when there is a release to the environment that results in an exceedance of applicable health-based criteria. There are three different types of IECs. Direct contact, vapor intrusion, and groundwater. A direct contact IEC occurs when there is an exceedance of acute health levels in the upper six inches of soil and there is potential for human contact through ingestion, dermal, or the inhalation exposure pathway. For vapor intrusion, an exceedance of the NJDEP indoor rapid action level triggers an IEC. A groundwater IEC occurs if the groundwater remediation standards are exceeded in a potable well. If an IEC is identified, the NJDEP must be immediately notified by calling the hotline 877-WARN-DEP. Each IEC has an assigned NJDEP case manager who oversees response actions. These response actions can be performed by a responsible party or the NJDEP. The NJDEP's IEC case manager monitors the responsible party's receptor and source mitigation measures and ensures public health is protected. The NJDEP also addresses IEC conditions using public funds to protect public health, safety, and the environment when the source of the contamination is unknown or the responsible party is unable or unwilling to address the IEC. If you have an IEC at your site, then on day one, complete the initial notification and immediately notify the NJDEP when data is received indicating an IEC condition exists. By day 14, complete an interim response action and NJDEP information submittal. By day 60, complete the engineered system response and receptor evaluation. By day 120, submit the engineered system response report to the NJDEP. And by one year, submit the source control report to the NJDEP. After the IEC condition has been addressed, the standard remediation timeframes apply. For more information about New Jersey site remediation, please contact us. Thanks.